Hey everyone, in this video I have this chiastonic and I'm gonna show you how to diagnose low frequency antenna when you have a push button starter on this car. So generally, uh, if you have push button start on the car, there are several low frequency antennas inside the car, two under the center console, one inside the driver door handle, one inside the passenger side one inside the bumper, one inside the trunk area. All these antennas are actually for detecting the key fob when you are trying, for example, to open the door to start up the engine or to open the trunk. But if the low frequency antenna is faulty, of course, you won't be able to uh, perform that function. For example, if the low frequency antenna inside the driver door handle is uh, broken, you won't be able to perform the passive unlocking the door. Today, I'm going to show you how to check and inspect all those antennas inside the car with a scan tool. I'm going to turn the ignition switch on. Today, I'm using launch scan tool. And as you see, it's already connected to OBD2 connector down there. So right now, I go for diagnostic. So as you see, system is already detected. My car is a Kia Stonic 2022. So on the system list, I'm gonna go for the smart key. So here is the smart key. So on this car, because we have integrated body control unit system, you need to select this one. On some cars, we have a smart key separate from uh, other units. So I have some general options reading the code, erasing the code. I'm going to go for a special function. And as you see over here, right at the top, I have antenna status check. So when you open up this uh, item, you see a list of all antennas we have inside the car. Interior antenna one and two, they are located under the center console. One uh, at the front of the gear shifter, one at the back, so they cover all inside the car. Wherever your key fob is inside the car, these two antennas are gonna detect uh, the key fob. And you use this one for starting up the car. So if these, these two antennas are faulty, you won't be able to start up the car. And the reason that we have two is first of all for uh, detecting all area inside the car. And the second one is one goes faulty, the other one is gonna work. So uh, we have trunk antenna for sedan cars only. We have one antenna inside the bumper for opening the uh, trunk or tailgate. We have one inside the driver door handle and one inside the uh, passenger door handle. For example, if, you, if I want to go for checking the interior antenna, I go for interior antenna number one. Locate the fob key at interior antenna number one between the ashtray and shifter. So I'm gonna put the key fob over here. Ignition switch must be off. Ignition switch off. Then I press OK. It has been completed means the antenna is working just fine. So I go for, for example, if you have any difficulty for passive unlocking the door, you need to check the driver door handle antenna. So but for doing that, I go for driver door handle antenna uh, ignition switch ignition switch off I need to locate the key fob at driver door handle antenna area and now I press ok it has been completed it means driver door handle antenna is working just fine and this confirms it so basically you can do it for every single antenna inside the car but you need to remember, if all antennas are not working, most likely the problem is from somewhere else. It could be from the key fob battery, or it could be from the uh, radio frequency receiver for this system. Okay, but if only one or two antennas are not working, the problem could be from the antenna itself, then you can perform everything I told you in this video to perform the diagnostic. Thank you very much everyone for watching.